Hello, how you guys doing? Curdy Cool is back on the scene once again. Oh yeah, coming at you live one more time. Hi, is all the good people out there? Thanks for tuning in to Curdy Cool, yeah. Oh yeah, waking up to another beautiful day, another blessed day, yeah. Every day I count my blessings. Every day I count my blessings, yo. I mean, life is all about what you make out of it. I mean, you can make yourself to be anything you want to be out here. That is your choice. But Curdy Cool chose to be happy. Happy, simple, and free. It's nothing like living a, a carefree life, yeah. I mean, well, you make everything beautiful everywhere you go, yeah. I mean, people light up, people feel comfortable within the spirit because you have a beautiful spirit, yeah. You guys ever experience going around certain people? You can feel that negative burning energy within those people, yo. But see, Curdy Cool, my happy spirit, follows me. People can read your spirit, your mind, accordingly to the way you look, the way you act, and a lot of times it shows all over your face. If you had a difficult life, you had a unrealistic life, you was out here doing a whole lot of crazy stuff and feels like that you have gotten away with it, that stuff shows all over your face. People can read energy, your personal image, yo, tells a lot about you the way you have treated people within all those years yo all my life I project nothing but a positive spirit yo with peace and love and happiness and I will always be this way because when you know where your blessings come from you know where you stand in this life I mean, God blesses his people, yo. That is why, pretty much, any and everything that you touch seems to just fall into place. That that is of goodness. Y'all notice that? You can do things and, and things just sort of fall into place. You know? Now, there's wicked people out here, yo. For some strange reason, they always get caught. They do a whole lot of wrong out here, y'all. But some kind of way, this stuff always backfire on them. Have you guys noticed that? I mean, you think that you are doing one thing and getting away another way, and this stuff always come back in another way. I tell you, boy, I tell you. I do believe there is a Heavenly Father above. There's a whole lot of people out here who don't believe that is their choice. But I'm here to testify that I know for a fact there is a God above, yo, who created the heavens and the earth, created all things out here, yeah. I mean, people out here feels like that they can do so much wrong out here. This stuff comes back another way one way or the other I'm glad I don't practice that kind of lifestyle yo out here using and abusing people yo running and hiding all over the place pretending to be something that you're not so sad so sad for those type of people yo but Curdy Cool, yeah, choose to be happy out here. 
I don't go around being a fake and a joke, yo. And everybody see you as a joke and a fake. I don't go out here all about mistreating people, trying to break people down, only to gain popularity because that is what you is all about. All about manipulation and control. Curdy Cool have no need to do that kind of stuff. I be simple and free and be real within myself and my own mind, baby. I don't have to go around pretending to be one way and then all your craziness comes out another way. You see what I'm saying? So you just really show who you really truly are within your own little messed up mind, yo. When people got these kind of minds, yo, I mean, you be thinking that they are one way you get with them, yo. They doing all kind of crazy stuff up around you. Acting all silly and crazy. I mean, they try to hold that stuff in, but the real beast is inside of them. Because now you begin to see the beast has been released. It's like they get around you and all that crazy stuff come out and you be like, wow, I thought this person was very mature. I thought this person right here had his head on straight. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden there's a bunch of craziness. And now you have lived the life you have lived at the age you are. People out here, yeah, should be standing up to be free and to be with love, peace, and happiness out here, yeah. And guiding and showing the younger, the younger generation, you, you know what I mean, what to do and what to carry on to the next generation, baby. Not out here manipulating and controlling everybody and want everybody to look up to you like you are some kind of god and and trying to control and manipulate everything and trying to get over on people, yo. You know what I mean? That is not Curdy Cool style, yo. That is why the good Lord let me to be simple and free because I got a good heart and a good mind, baby. And I don't have to get out here and shake and shake. You know what I mean? Because if people out here, they shake and then they pretend to be something else and you you can see it in the spirit, in their ways and then they try to carry everybody else down with them with those crazy wicked spirits, y'all. But today in 2022, baby, people see all this stuff for what it is. You can't not think that you are going to go around and just mess over innocent people out here and they are not going to say anything about what's going on out here. I mean, you have to come at people straight. You have to will and deal with people straight. I mean, because people are waking up now. People, I mean, they know right from wrong. And you out here doing all this stuff, you, you only make yourself look bad. But see, that is on you. Your life is based around a joke. That is on you. And that is something that you would have to live with for the rest of your life. Curdy Cool don't have all that on him because God knows my heart. When God knows your heart, he know. And God continue on to bless you with a whole lot of love, peace, and happiness. But these people out here, yeah, who think that this life is all about them and they just continue on to, you know, mess, mess over people, do all this crazy stuff, acting all crazy and wicked and evil, thinking that this world is all about them. Just let them continue on being them. That's what they choose to be wicked and evil but see Curdy Cool continue on being free and love happiness and peace out here 
And check this out, y'all. I pretty much just stay away from those wicked, evil people, y'all. Because I don't want those little old wicked, evil spirits trying to jump off on Curry Cool. I mean, they can't come at you straight, baby. You can't come at Curry Cool straight, just simple and easy going. You come around and you're trying to create a whole bunch of problems. And all you want to do is manipulate and control everything into your favor. And then try to cut you down, baby. Cut you down and break you down and try to make you feel small because they want to control your mind, baby. Hey, y'all. Uh, Curdy cool. I'm just out here educating, baby. I educate. You know what I mean? Keep it real. Keep it beautiful. Keep it happy, y'all. Uh, stay free with full of love and happiness. But all this other stuff, yeah. Curdy cool. I am not going to let all this stuff worry and bother Curdy Cool. I mean, life is too beautiful out here, yeah. I mean, you got only one life to live. You live the best life that you can live while you are here on Earth. Nobody knows the given time when they would leave this world. Now, what is your legacy? before you leave this world. Your legacy, with a whole lot of bitterness and hate, your legacy left behind, shows the entire life story, the way you are, the way you do people, the way you mistreated people, that is your legacy. Your legacy is who you are and what you created. See, you created the legacy to be wicked and evil. So now you must live with this before you leave this world. That is your legacy. But my legacy is to be with love, peace, and happiness. And before I leave this world, I will be remembered by and as love, peace, and happiness and of good deeds. Because this is what I believe in and this is what I project to stay happy and free, baby. I don't have all them wicked spirits all over me, yo. All that stuff all over me and can't step out anywhere without trying to project all this stuff onto other people, a lot of nonsense. I'm not Curdy Cool style, yo. I stand up and I face reality and see everything for what it is. If you don't learn how to come back to the real well, that is your legacy, your lifestyle. You are given a free will. But, good genuine people, quality people, you know what I mean? These people are the ones who sense out all this wicked stuff. You know who to be around and who not to be around. I mean, if it's going to be where all this negative energy comes out now you got all these grown people together and you got all this negative energy coming from grown ass people y'all y'all ever, ever experienced that bunch of negative energy and you be like damn look at these grown ass people and look what they project y'all they create a whole lot of problems then they turn around and try to play the victim role you know okay so they so so they dig their own hole then they try to turn around and undig their own little hole and then they try to flip it and use narcissist manipulation to try to make it look like it was the other person <laughs> hey y'all I'm just out here educating y'all and telling it the way it is I mean, people know when people is not real out here, yeah. I mean, you can just look at people. I mean, I see it all the time. You got some people out here, yeah. I mean, they are so full of bitterness and hate. I mean, now they messed up in their life. Really, really bad. With a whole lot of things in their life. Due to the fact that they are so caught up into their own wicked ways, y'all, until they cannot 
snap out of all that nonsense. So now in their mind, they think that everybody is out to get them, you know. <laughs> that tells me that is a very immature person who thinks like that. You reach of a certain age and you out here with a narcissist mind, you know. I mean, somebody help Curtis Crew understand this. You see a man out here, 50, 60 years old, a woman out here 50 or 60 years old. I mean, you look very intelligent and then you create a whole lot of problems out here, y'all. And then you use this narcissist manipulation to try to flip it around back on other people. Y'all see what I'm saying? Now, instead of, instead of getting a grip of their life, Hey, look, uh, and I've seen this happen. I'm not going to name no names. I've just seen people, yeah. I mean, you invite them over to your house, yeah. Y'all check this out. This this is based on a true story, y'all. Y'all check this out. Based on a true story, y'all. I mean, you invite them over to the house, y'all. You feed him. I mean, you're taking good care of everybody. And all of a sudden, he starts a whole lot of drinking, y'all. And right there, you already know, this person is going to lose it, y'all. So this particular person, y'all, he started drinking, y'all. He lose control. Now he start name calling, y'all. And just all kind of crazy stuff, yo. So at this point, it sort of seems like this person got some kind of, what, problem, bipolar problem. It's like the alcohol drinking that he he, he does, now it, it, it kicks in that bipolar disorder, yo. So now he just flips out in his mind, yo. And he start name calling. Just, just crazy stuff off his mind, yo. So now everybody else is saying, well, I guess it's, it's, it's about time for us to go, yo. We can't deal with this. But anyway, this certain person, well, I tell you what, then. I'm going to run to the store and I'm going to go and go get me something at the store. And I'll be back. Now, y'all, check this out. This particular person runs off somewhere to a store somewhere he was so messed up y'all he goes to I'm assuming to a liquor store somewhere lays his phone on top of the counter somewhere he gets his he get more alcohol and leaves his phone laying on top of the counter and walk out and leave his phone y'all now somebody else comes behind him at the liquor store, takes his phone. Now he comes back to my house again. Now he, he all messed up. He comes back to my house. I'm talking about a true story here now. So now we were like, mm -mm, this is not cool here, are you? You come here with this drinking and getting all messed up like this. This is not cool at all. So anyway, he just get out of control. So everybody just make a decision. Tell you what, we are going to just get ready to leave and just sort of ride out, just sit out by the park because we don't want all this mess here at uh, Curtis Crew's house. So anyway, this certain person, y'all, oh y'all, he just lose it, talking all ignorant, just all over the place, just bumping his gums. So we just ignored him. So anyway, the time wind down, yo. So everybody was getting ready to, to, to go on their way. Now, he is so messed up. Now he, he, he don't even know how he got home, yo. He get home. Now the next day, yo, this guy starts calling everybody and, and start 
accusing everybody for taking his phone, y'all. <laughs> hey, my phone, my phone. Hey, man, I was at your house, man. Man, man, I know you got my phone. Now, he got a 10-year-old phone, and Curdy Cool got a 5G brand new phone now. Man, I was at your house, man. I lost my phone at your house. Say, dude, you got a 10-year-old phone. What, what, what do I look like wanting your 10-year-old phone when I got a 5G? <laughs> but anyway, just to show you how these narcissists operate. So now he just take it to a whole new level, yo. Oh, my phone, I done press charges. Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, that phone finder, I say you do whatever you like, but your phone is not here. I search my studio inside out. Your phone is not here in my studio. And so I say you, you welcome to do whatever you like, but your phone is not here. He would not take no for an answer just to, just to show you the way these narcissists are, y'all. I mean, he cursed and he argued. Then he started creating lies, talking about, you know, people took his phone. Then he, st he started name calling from one to the other. All oh, this person did, all oh, that person, all oh, that person did. Look, man, you, you should stop all that drinking because that stuff increases your bipolar disorder. And it's pretty much out of control. You lose things now. He began all this name shifting and name blaming and accusing people and all this narcissist abuse come out in this guy. And so, so now you just kind of tell him, look, it didn't happen over here. So now he's he's mad. He's he's acting like a willow beast now, y'all. When you, when you see him next time, he's like a willow beast. He's mad at the world. In his mind, he's thinking somebody took his phone. Nobody never took his phone, y'all. So now you be like, okay, okay, wow. Lord, what is this world coming to, y'all? So, you see him, what, well, a few months later, you see him somewhere, and you just walk up and say, hey, look, uh, how you doing? You doing all right? I hope you found your phone. Oh, he, he flipped his nose up in the air, yeah. He looked like a, a, a crazy man from hell. He spin around, he go, not walk out, but he go running out of the place. And you be like, what is this guy problem? You see, what I'm saying is, is that narcissists, they are so caught up into their own selves until whatever they are doing out here, y'all, that stuff got their mind, y'all. And it triggers off any and every little thing. It, what, 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 what it what it is really truly saying is what he is really truly all about. He don't have no trust. He don't have no love. He have a lot of envy and jealous. He, he been traumatized totally just so bad in his life until now. He wait until he become a grown ass man, never gotten any help once again like that Patricia Robinson style. See, this is this is the kind of stuff that happens when people do not get help. Whatever happened to you in your childhood and you never get any help. Now, when you get older, you're supposed to be smarter, wiser. You're supposed to be like a vessel everywhere you go, which means you should be able to communi communicate with people. You should have a great understanding. You should be a great listener. I mean, you should be, okay. You know, everything is cool. I mean, I done seen the world, traveled the world, did a lot of things. I mean, I'm just the best that I could be. But it, but it is certain people out here, yeah, the older they get, the crazier they get. I'm not lying. I look at this Patricia Robinson. She waited until she got older. She scammed and conned Curtis Cool. Same shit. 
Y'all see what I'm saying? It is certain people out here, yo. They get older. They are so caught up in that bipolar lifestyle, y'all. They are so messed up in their head, y'all. They never had anything. Now, any little thing. They want to steal other people's property. They want to shift blame and put it off on everybody else. But yet and still, they want to take what belongs to you and claim it as their own or they, tr or they want to shift blame and make it look like that you the bad guy but they only wanted to get what they wanted to get. Or they wanted to shift blame when they was the one who messed up but they still wanted, wanted to make you look like you were the one who messed up when it was them. <laughs> yeah, I understand what I'm saying. But see, a wise man, you just sit back and you check it all out. Okay. They never learn nothing. I see them for what they are. They never learn nothing. Some people, yeah, they get older. They get crazy, y'all. I'm talking, I used to think when they get older, they get uglier. Now, I was at the driver's license place getting my driver's license renewed one time, y'all. I mean, this was recently. I walked into the driver's license place to, re to renew my driver's license. Laid my driver's license on the counter and uh, going through the process for them to snap my picture. And when they saw Curdy Cool, yo, yeah, they was like, okay, now we know you have the, the wrong picture and the wrong dates on your driver's license. I mean, we done seen this before. You can just tell us the truth. Is this you or, or is this your son? You know, I mean, this can't be you. You gotta have your your father's information over here. This cannot be you. And I said, no, that's not, that, that, that is me. And so they said, wow. The young lady now, she was about 30 years old. She said, wow. She said, why is it that women, when they get 40 and 50, they look older and they look uglier. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have nothing to do with that. If they are not taking care of themselves Curdy Cool don't have nothing to do with all that ugliness. When they get older, you said they get ugly. But you know now what, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that for some reason, when men get older, they look better, they look more handsome, and uh, they're just so much more attractive because the qualities and, and the way they carry themselves. I say, well, what, what makes you think that women, when they get 40, 50, 60, she, she said, this young lady said, it, it is what it is. I mean, I see a lot of these women coming here 50, 60 years old, you, you should see them. They look rough. They look like old women. The whole life story is all over their face, y'all. They have did so much wrong until you can just see it all over their face and you can see their life history all over their face, all in their skin. I said, is that right? Hmm, is that right? And she said, I can tell you lived a good life. I mean, I could have swore you was about 45. You lived a good life. I said, my life is based around treating all people with love, dignity, and respect. I told her just like that. I don't go around mistreating people. I don't go around messing over people. I don't go around taking something that does not belong to me. I don't go around doing all this crazy stuff out here, y'all. I said, I keep it real and simple. 
And this is why when you keep it real and simple, the good Lord keep you looking real and beautiful. Y'all know what I mean? Now, so she continue on. Now, one more thing I want to say, sir. Okay. So you say you this age, but you look 45. Now, she said, now, another thing I want to bring up. Most women who get 50 and 60, they be all fat. Now, I'm like, well, hold them, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. I don't have nothing to do with that, ma'am. But, but, but she said, well, this is from a woman's point of view, from my end of it. This, this young lady was 30 years old. She said, women who get 50 and 60, they get all fat. They get so wildly entangled into their own mind. They become uglier. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. He said, uh, let me tell you something, Curtis Cool. I see them coming to this driver's license place all the time. They way out of shape. They let themselves go, yeah. The whole life history all over the face. Now, tell me what is your secret, Curtis Cool? And how you keep your weight down and you got the body of a 30 year old or a 25 year old man? How, how do you explain that? See, she said, this is why it confused me when you came into this driver's license place because now I'm thinking that you have your father's information and now you got a young man's body. I mean, you got a flat waist, flat stomach. And she like, now how you explain that? See, nothing is matching up here, sir. Nothing is matching up. Then she started calling other people. Look, hey, y'all, y'all, come on. Y'all get over here. Get over here. Look at, look. Well, you, well, y'all, well, y'all look at this man over here. I'm like, oh, come on, now. why, why, why y'all making a big scene here, y'all? All I want to do is just, you know, get finished up and go on, on, get my little old driver's license and get on up out of here. I'm not here in here making comparisons, you know, because uh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm going to end it like this. Curry Cool had a good life when I was coming up. Now, that is very important in all kids' life. I told him just like that. A very good life. There was no abuse. There was no manipulation. There was no evilness. There was no wickedness. There was no corruption. There was no bad understanding. There was no conning. There was no scheming. Everything was organic. So now you got it. That is the secret to looking younger no matter how old you get and how well you project that everywhere you go. Now you got your answers why I look the way I look. So they said, oh, okay, beautifully, very well said, very well said. I said, yes, because I'm not going around out here and, uh, you know, talking about people who didn't take care of themselves and let themselves go or they live that fast lifestyle or they did all this crazy stuff in their life and now it shows all over their body face everybody see them for who they are you know people see that stuff y'all so anyway curdy cool y'all I walked out the place and people were still just staring wow still can't believe that guy I mean that is a handsome looking young man I mean <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't know what to say, y'all. I mean, god dang. This man got a, a body of a young of a young man. I mean, he got a great mind, a great spirit. I mean, but the women, his age, they look terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> I can hear him saying, but they look terrible, terrible. <laughs> I wanted to come back and tell her. Now all the women don't look terrible like that. You, 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 now you wrong about that, but I did not want no big old conflict going on inside of the driver's license place. 
you know, I'm stepping outside of the box trying to explain and and and, and uh, help up for women out here. And then all of a sudden, now I get my ass chewed out. So Credit Cool just smoothly just spin around, baby, and just walk on out of the place. Okay, but well, you guys just kind of discussed that in your little discussion behind the counter over there because Curdy Cool is going to ease on up out of here, baby. Y'all discuss what y'all women going to do when y'all get old. <laughs> hey, y'all, Curdy Cool, I'm going to end this little show. You guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful night. Y'all stay blessed. I'm telling you guys, I'm sharing my experience with Curdy Cool going through when he was a child. I had the best of the best upbringing. Everything was organic. I counted it all as a blessing. There was no conning, no scheming, no arguing, no fussing. Everybody got along great. See, I was not traumatized in a home coming up as a kid. There's a lot of people out here, y'all, who was traumatized. They was traumatized so bad, it shows now once they grew up, once again, that stuff shows. You was traumatized when you was a kid. A whole lot of different crazy stuff happened to you when you was a kid. That stuff follows you everywhere you go. Now, the people who did this to you, I mean, they don't really care. But now you grew up, now you are into this world now people began to see you for who you are. I mean, certain things about you, the way you act and the way you do certain things, it begins to show. And people know that you had a traumatized lifestyle. You know, the outbursts. Always quickly angry and upset. Always feeling like your, your fatherhood was taken away from you from not having a father. Or your motherhood was taken away from you without having a mother. See what I'm saying? So now this stuff kind of like conflict and add sparks that, oh, that ain't right, that ain't right. That, that, that person over there got their father, that person over there had their mother. See, that stuff sparks back on your mind, y'all. Now you got people like back flashing, you know. Man, that ain't fair, that ain't fair. Why did they do that to me? Oh, they had this. Oh, y'all was all together over there, but what about me? Oh, I was by myself in a crazy home, y'all, somewhere. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm I'm just telling it just the way it is, y'all. Hey y'all, Curdy Cool out here. I'm in this little show. You guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful night. Keep your head up, baby. Y'all stay strong. Y'all keep on being yourself, being real, being beautiful, being happy. Treat all people with love, dignity, and respect. That right there is the golden secret to being successful out here in this world. Treating all people with love, dignity, and respect. If you can't do that, what makes you think that people are going to respect you if you don't respect other people? You know what I mean? So anyway, Curtis Cool, I'm in this little show. Y'all be good in the neighborhood. Okay, bye.